All right, so I got another pack of um, DC Mini Mates. This time, as you can clearly see, Hawkman, Hawk Woman, Hawk Girl. So, um, packaging is exactly the same because they were in the same wave as Guy Gardner and Kilowog. So, you have the same back here. Something I just noticed is that, um, the character of Captain Marvel is named Shazam on the packaging, and Mary Marvel is Mary. I don't know if that's because Minimates had both the Marvel and DC license, and Marvel and DC have a Captain Marvel. I don't know. But, uh, I just found that kind of weird. So, you know, Hawkman, Hawkgirl. Red Tornado, my uncle, Guy Gardner, and Kilowog. Alright, so this is Hawk Girl. Figured I'd start with her first because I usually like to save the best character for last. But, um. So I've decided to start with Hawk Girl because, um. Well, I usually like to save the best character for last. Um. This is, as you can see, the first figure I've reviewed that has, uh, wings. Whoops. Wings. The, uh, a couple Marvel characters have wings. Actually, it's pretty much the same character. Archangel, Angel, things like that. I don't know exactly what came first. I think it might have been the, uh, Hawkman and Hawkgirl. Um, and then Marvel did theirs. But, um... These wings work extremely well, um, in my opinion anyway. I've heard some people have complaints that they are too loose because um, once you take them out of the packaging, you have to connect them. You can see there's a ball joint that you put them in. Um, they're kind of finicky getting off, but that's what you do. You just put, you ha it has a... Uh, a hole here and you put that into there it's pretty easy getting in just makes a slight clicking noise I thought they would go in a little better um like I thought they would have they would be in there a little more but that's as far in as they go and because of the fact that you put them in they are movable, you can move them any which way. I don't know why you would ever want them to look this way, but you fool with that, around with it. So, her costume, she is wearing her traditional hawk girl mask. It looks very good. The mask itself is a very light brown um, it is about the same color as the thing. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really good. Um, I pretty much don't even have to say that this figure is top heavy. So, um, I've heard a lot of people don't like the, the chest block on her since it makes her look, um, I guess a bit fat a bit more muscular. Um, while that is true that it does make her look a little bigger, I think it it looks good, I think. There is no way that they could have done the wings without it. Um, but I like it. I'm a fan. I don't I don't have much to complain about about that. And um, looky here, there's actually detailing on the back. The shirt actually goes around the design goes all the way around to the back which is a good thumbs up for me um, so she's wearing her her more recognizable costume white shirt not white shirt why do I keep messing up white and yellow lately um, yellow shirt with the um, with the belt hold on her pants aren't on right with the belt here it's got the Hawk People logo on it. 
the uh, red kind of underpant thing here, and then the green shorts and red boots. So, like I said, it's a pretty recognizable hawk girl. Um, now, something about this figure is that, as you can probably guess, the mask is removable. Um, she comes with an alternate hair piece. Whoops. But as you can see, it droops down, so you have to take the wings off in order to be able to display her like that. Now, this face is great. In my opinion, it actually is better than the um, Invisible Woman. Um, it's just, it's a great looking face. It's, um, it captures her character pretty greatly, I think. Um, you know, she's got just red hair. This is a reuse from the, um, Batgirl. But, um, I think it really, um, goes, goes well with her. Um, I think it even looks a lot like her, um, hair in, uh, Justice League, the, uh, show, cartoon. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, she looks really good with the hair and the wings off. Possibly even better than with the wings on and the helmet on. So, uh, yeah. I think it's a real shame you can't have the hair and the wings on at the same time. That would have looked even better, I think. Now, she comes with an accessory, which I'm pretty sure you can guess. Well, I'm going to give you a few seconds to, to guess. If you guessed Mace, you were right. It fits very nicely into her hand, each one, and uh, I think she looks really good holding it. Now, if only we could get that hair on with the wings. <sighs> A man can dream. A man can dream. So that's it for Hawk Girl. We are going to move on to Hawk Man now. So here he is, one of my personal favorite superheroes, at least in recent times. Um, I wasn't a big fan a couple years back, but I am now. Um, the helmet looks pretty spectacular. Um, you can see that it's got both the brown and the yellow around the mouth, which is a pretty... I think it's more new version of Hawkman. I'm not sure. Um, the ears, or whatever you'd call them, uh, look very well. They look very well. Wow. That was one of the worst things I've ever said. Um, they look very good. I think it would be a bit redundant to talk about the wings again, so we're just going to move on. Now this costume is pretty much exactly what I think of when I think of Hawkman. He's got the um, the straps on him with the Hawk Person logo in the middle. Again, detail carries over onto the back, even to places where you can't even see it. So that's really cool. Um, he's got bare arms, nothing special there. Now, his pants are actually a little less detailed than uh, Hawk Girl's because his belt does not have the Hawk Person logo on it, but the rest of it is identical. Like, you know, there's Hawk Man's and there's Hawk Girl's. Exactly the same. And Hawkman fell down. Now, again, this figure has a face underneath and another hair piece, but unlike Hawk, Hawk Girl, um, you do not have to take his wings off, which is already a plus. So, let me do that for you. So, there you go. There's Carter Hall. Um, 
pretty simple face. A little stern, but heroic. Could be angry, but heroic. Um, I think it works really well. The hairpiece does also. Um, not sure if this was reused. I'm sure it was. I'm almost positive it was. But, um, I think it looks really good. Um, and I can't decide whether or not to display him with it on or off. So, it's a bit of a conundrum. As with Hawk Girl, he comes with accessories. Two this time. I'm not counting the wings as accessories, since it's part of the figure. Um, so, he, as well, comes with a mace. Pretty much the same thing, only it is much bigger. Um, this fits in his hand very well. Although it may take just a little bit of persuading to get it in. But once it gets in, it stays in. But his other accessory is this shield. So with his accessories, Hawkman certainly looks like a um, very intimidating, you know, foe. Even though he's not a foe, but you get my point. Um, this figure is fantastic. I don't think I've seen a figure like this in all of my Minimate collecting years. Um, I only have had it for a day. And it's already the pride and joy of my collection. And I'm confident enough to say that. That this is my favorite mini-mate right now. Um, but yeah, I have just nothing but praise for this figure. It is fantastic. And um, Hawk Girl 2 is a very good figure. Maybe not as good as Hawkman, but it's a very good two-pack. Um, from what I've seen, this is definitely one of the best DC Minimates. The two best DC Minimates. Um, and it's just, it's just a real shame that they, they didn't continue. So, um, as you can tell, I am definitely going to re re recommend this. Um... I can't recommend this highly enough. I mean, if you're a DC fan, you owe it to yourself to buy this. Well, uh, that's it for this review. Uh, see you next time.